Good day to you, church family. Happy day one million of this shelter in place experience. I've got a few updates for you. Uh, first is Calm Kids at Home curriculum for this week is below in the email. So this is a great opportunity for you to raise your kids up in the love and knowledge of the Lord. Also, I can't wait for the upcoming singleness webinars. We're going to talk to several different all-star singles about what they're doing to thrive, to stay healthy and well, and develop community during this quarantine time. And it's, it is about singleness, but it's not just for singles. And so married folks plan to join in as well. You'll get, you'll get an email about one hour before we're ready to start. Uh, and thank you for all of you who have filled out the surveys. Um, it is not too late for those who haven't done that yet. There's a link below. But thanks for filling those out. It's, it's been very interesting and highly encouraging to get your thoughts. And I'll, I'll share those in full at a future uh, member meeting that we have and then some highlights in, in a future email as well. But, but with the governor's lifting of restrictions and the strong majority of your survey responses, it's going in the way that we thought and we would lead you towards going. But it's, it's time for us to start thinking about moving back together again. And the first way that we're going to do that is in our community groups. And so we know that we have tons of details to work out, but we're thinking as of now, we will, our groups will begin meeting in some form or fashion the week of May 24th. So, so not this next week, but the week after. And Bill's putting together some church-wide guidelines for the group with all the safety precautions, and he's going to start working with the leaders to talk through questions and logistics, but we're moving in that direction now. So be on the lookout for more information from your group leaders uh, in the coming days or week. And remember from last week, the encouragement about abundant grace while rejecting labels of faithlessness or recklessness. And so for some, the idea of community groups open, that is the best news you've heard in a long time, and you are going to show up there early, and you're going to tailgate, and you can't wait to join in. But for others, we know that this, I, you just got nervous at the idea. And so, and we know that you're not going to join in yet, and we want you to know that's totally fine. But we'll walk through this together as one church and we'll be united in things about this call to faithfulness no matter what. And we're going to give people patience and, and we're going to be patient and give people kindness and grace. And I'll leave you with this, Philippians 4, 6 and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so what this tells us is that anxiety and fear ought not be the primary descriptors of Jesus' followers. There were to be people of faith. But when we do struggle, and we do, we all struggle, with, we are to offer our struggles up to God, talk to them about Him. And the end result is the peace of God, the, the kind of peace that we don't can't even understand. It will stand sentinel over our affections or our, or our feelings and our thoughts. How great is that? That God offers that to us. And so will you take him up on that offer? There's more to come, church family. But for now, be well and stay faithful.